For this segment, we want to lighten up a little bit and give you some practical application of some of the biological information we've been talking about to this point. We want to talk about how to read a trout stream. Basically, how to approach a trout stream to get an idea if this is an area that you want to fish, that you want to spend some time on, uh, and get some quality fishing and some quality, in uh, quality time Excuse me, in the environment. I'm starting out next to the road today because I want to give you an indication of where most people trout fish. To, s to select our stream, we picked the Esopus Creek because the Esopus certainly is one of the more famous trout streams in the world. It's also one of the most heavily fished trout streams. And most of the traffic, that is fisherman traffic, occurs where the stream comes closest to the road. Basically, if you want to get quality trout fishing, the best approach is to find areas of the stream, like the Esopus Creek, that are further away from the road, that is, further away from easy access by most fishermen. You'll find, and this has always amazed me, that most fishermen, and I'm using that term fishermen in the broadest sense, most fishermen don't want to walk very far and in fact most of them if they could cast out of their car with the door open that's probably what they do so that you get a stream of the a stretch of the esopus or any trout stream like the one next to us today exactly next to the road it's been very heavily fished if you look at the terrain around me you'll see that it's all tramped down in fact it looks like Hannibal's army uh, including all of the elephants just passed through here you see an area stream like this, avoid it. That doesn't mean there's not trout in here, but the ones that remain are either hatchery fish that have just been thrown in here, poor quality, or they are very, very wily fish that are not going to be easily caught. Can you catch trout in a section like this? Sure. But it's reward for the amount of effort you put in. Basically, that's what fishing is. And in this particular case, you're going to fish very hard for the few fish you get. If you're serious about your trout fishing and the quality time spent on the stream, you don't want to be next to the road anyways because aesthetically it's obviously not very pleasing. There are many areas of this Asopus that are far away from the road. Yeah, you're going to have to hike in a little bit, but it's worth it because not only does the trout fishing improve, but also the aesthetics uh, improve considerably. The birds, the trees, vegetation, wildlife around you are all part of the trout fishing experience. And it's an experience that shouldn't be missed. If you're coming simply to get an escape from the house or to come up and drown a few worms, this is the place to fish. If you've come up to have a really moving experience with nature, then you want to get further back in. And that's where we're going to go next.